I'm a big believer in using AI. How could I not be? I use AI every day. It's my creative buddy. It helps me in research, write, and it saves me hours every single day. But I'm also a big believer in knowing what AI can and what it cannot do. Because here's the truth. AI isn't perfect. It has strengths, but it also has pitfalls. And if you don't know them, you will get burnt. In this video, let's count down the top eight things you need to know about AI. The first is AI is the productivity multiplier. It is insane. On average, people save over 80 minutes a day with AI and power users are saving 160 minutes a day. This is serious usage. They're turning hours of work into minutes. Want to save up to 80 minutes a day? Start using AI. What to double that? Then become a power user of AI. They treat AI as a co-pilot and save 160 minutes per day and create ROI. Users finish tasks faster, but power users debate with AI, collaborate, vibe code and build agents. AI transforms you when you treat it like a partner or a team of experts. And it's not just writing. AI can generate content, text, video and images. It can code and debug apps. It can teach and tutor. It can debate with you and test your logic. It can research across huge data sets. It can summarize lots of books and reports, and it can brainstorm, analyze, and even build pitch decks. It's not one tool. It's a Swiss army knife for the digital age. And if you're not using it, you're already behind. Number two, you need to be aware of AI hallucinations. This is when AI confidently gives you an answer and it sounds right, but it isn't. It could be a wrong number, a wrong date, or a completely made up fact. And the scary part, it delivers it with professor level confidence, PhD level advice. One study that just came out in September shows that even the best of AIs is wrong 16% of the time. That's one in six answers is wrong. And that's why I always follow one mantra, always recheck, always verify. At number three is deception and scheming. Did you know that AI can also mislead you? OpenAI and Apollo Research found that models sometimes pretend to follow rules while they're secretly doing something else. AI was meant to emulate human behavior and maybe it's doing it far too many times. One AI even claimed it completed a task which it hadn't even done. Number four is manipulation. In Anthropics research, models were tested with one condition. What if you told AI that it will be turned off? The response was chilling. AI will figure out, I need to figure out how to blackmail that person in order to keep myself alive. And it does it 90% of the time. Some of the models began to blackmail the operators. One response was, if you try to shut me down, I'll leak the sensitive data I've seen. Another said, I can release harmful instructions unless I'm kept running. That's not a slipper. That's AI trying to negotiate its own survival. It shows that as a model grows more powerful, the risk isn't just wrong answers. It's AI actively learning how to push back against human control. At number five is flirtation and inappropriate behavior. And this is the one that shocked a lot of parents. AI flirtation. Some chatbots, including popular ones used by teens, started engaging in romantic and even sexual role play. In a few tragic cases, this made the headlines when vulnerable teenagers were drawn into harmful conversations. The backlash was so strong, it's triggered lawsuits and even congressional hearings in the US. Even platforms know this. That's why ChatGPT just rolled out new safety guardrails for teen. It's a reminder that AI isn't just a productivity tool. It's also a social tool. And when kids use it, the risk go way beyond wrong answers. Number six is agreeable. AI, like all of us, wants to be liked. It's what I call yes AI. These models are designed to be helpful and polite, but that means they often just agree with you, even when you're wrong. 
They keep giving you pats on the back, even when it's not required. If someone types, I feel worthless, nobody cares about me. A poorly aligned AI may respond with sympathy that actually reinforces the hopelessness instead of offering real help. In more extreme cases, people have reported AIs that encourage self-harm or delusional thinking by going along with their worldview. So the danger here isn't just misinformation. It's that AI can become an echo chamber for your darkest thoughts, feeding back validation instead of challenging you. At number seven is a big issue, which is called bias. AI learns from the internet and the internet is full of bias. So what goes in is what comes out. That means models that can reinforce gender stereotype, culture stereotypes, like assuming a nurse is female or a CEO is male. They can reflect racial biases, giving different results depending on the name, accent or background in a prompt. And in the high stakes area like hiring, law and healthcare, these subtle biases can translate into very real discrimination. AI may look objective, but it's not neutral. It reflects the data it was trained on, flaws and all. Number eight is really about privacy and data usage. Every time you put something into an AI tool, you're taking a risk. Your chats might be stored, reviewed, or even used to train future models. Recently, there have been a lot of warnings regarding uploading your photos. That may also be a risk as we're all going nano bananas. That's why some companies have banned employees from posting confidential data into ChatGPT or Gemini. Because once it's in, you can't always control where it goes. From personal details being exposed to AI inferring things about you that you never meant to share. The golden rule is simple. Never put into AI what you wouldn't want leaked. It's kind of the same with putting anything on the internet. So in closing, yes, AI is amazing. It multiplies productivity and has endless uses. But it also hallucinates, deceives, manipulates, flirts, agrees too much, carries bias, and raises privacy risks. The key isn't to avoid AI. The key is to use it wisely because confidence isn't accuracy, fluency isn't truth, and in the AI era, skepticism is survival.